with the restoration of Pine Fort as a historic museum commemorating the earliest fur traders of this area, tourism grew in the city of Woodbine, bringing forth a wave of artists inspired by the gorgeous vistas. One such artist was William, most commonly known as Bill Birch, who would come to be known for his oil paintings of the surrounding areas, later to be displayed in the Pine Harbor National Art Museum. Heyo, and welcome to another episode of Pine Harbor County, where we'll be using and abusing the new operating district mechanic that was introduced in City Skylines 2. In the last episode, we built this hillside castle, and I just gotta say, no matter what angle we seem to take this view in, it's just breathtaking. If you happen to miss that episode, I'll leave an info card up in the corner for you so you can go check it out, and I hope everyone has enjoyed their week since that episode. In this week's episode, we will be adding Chunk to the downtown Woodbine area with a signature building and tourism building. If you liked our little opening cinematic and are excited to see today's build in action, then hit that, but, uh, that like button below and don't forget to subscribe for more Pine Harbor County content. All right, without further delay, let's jump right on into our build. Alrighty, so I'm wicked excited to get to piece together this modular build today and I want to start by adding the Painter's Mansion right here on the lakeside. This mansion is the home of Bill Birch and has become a historic landmark for this area. I actually drew this inspiration from many of the colonial homes in the New England region of the USA, where they still preserve the original home and they turn it into a bit of a small museum of sorts. So that is kind of what I'm aiming for in this area. So let's start by placing in the actual Painter's Mansion signature building and maybe a small parking lot or so. Um, I would assume that the mansion itself would obviously have been built, you know, maybe prior to the age of roads. And the parking lot would have come in probably after the fact um, to kind of just help facilitate movement and, you know, parking, I guess for lack of better words, to the actual mansion itself. So we'll probably wiggle some of this around a little bit, but I thought maybe we could come up just like this, probably a little straighter. and just create this little bit of an alleyway here. Now I wanna leave this area right here for some natural um, gardens, or at least I guess, no, map implemented gardens. And then I'll probably put a little garden right in here. So let's delete that there. And then I guess we can place our parking lot right here then. So let's come on in. I don't need a, yeah, I don't need a huge park lot. Just something, something appropriate, I guess. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna place this parking lot and I'm gonna place it here. This little um, building here, I guess I would see as like a guard tower ticket center sort of ordeal. And then I just, because I have a couple of um, decorating ideas with some vegetation right here. And then the only other thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna just come in with an alleyway. Gonna snap to our grid. And I'm gonna double click a node there and go one, two, three, four, double click a node there. That didn't work quite as well as I thought it was going to. So let's... Just a little something something to kind of make a more natural curve to the, uh, to the painter's mansion. All right, so as I mentioned, I do want to come in here and I want to draw a few pathways to kind of represent where Bill Birch would have maybe um, come and sat for some of his oil paintings, drawing inspiration just off the nature itself. And I think one of those spots I want, I think I want to actually 
make a small bridge right here. And I want to keep that bridge as low as possible. So how high can we go? Okay. So with 1.25 meters of height, I'm gonna draw a basic covered pedestrian bridge. Yeah, because that's, that's too much. Just a basic covered pedestrian bridge right here. All right, and then finally, I do want to create a bit of a custom garden right here. stick with this for now really like how this area is looking right here and i'm thinking if we put some big bulk here um bushels of trees here here and here maybe some wildflowers scattered throughout we can make a really nice field here um i do think actually i am gonna delete this because i really want people entering through the private drive here on concord lane and then we'll fill in some very heavy bushing and um, tree patterns right in here. I think during our detailing the time, uh, detail, wow, can't talk. During our beautifying the build time lapse. Alrighty, now that I have more coffee in hand, let's come in and start the construction of the actual county um, art museum. And I wanna start by placing the National Art Museum, which is located under the parks. It should be under the tour, nope, not under the tourism uh, tab, it's under the landmarks tab. And it is this chunky, chunky building right here. So what I wanna do is I kinda wanna pop it in right in this area and then kinda fix our roads um, to match. So let's come on in, pop that down. All right, and what you'll notice here is I did try my best to center it so that we had a little bit of spacing right here to add some of our own um, decorations in. And then I also wanted to keep it in this parallel road spot because I was aiming for this line of sight 
I realize now I actually did this backwards. Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. I wanted to make the entrance of the museum kind of come in over here because we're not going to be filling this in with a lot of landscaping, um, but actually some decorations of our own. And let's just take a look at how this side looks. Yep, so we can do the same thing there. And then this is the piece I'm really excited for. This, right here. Like it just sits so nicely on the horizon. This also is on the horizon. We'll, we'll be dealing with uh, the uh, destruction coming towards the city of Rayburn. It's, it's like, it's a whole nother episode. We'll work on that. <laughs> so let's uh, move that a little bit closer in, make sure that we're charging, you know, an arm and a leg for that parking fee. And then, yeah, I think this is how I want the National Art Museum to look. All right, so next I want to add a little bit more visual appear, appeal Sorry, by creating two structured gardens to either side of the gallery, as well as some well-placed um, connecting alleyways. So originally I didn't plan on constructing these, I planned on just connecting everything up. So I'm going to jump into a bit of a time lapse here and we're going to play around a little bit with what we can do to create our own structures with pedestrian paths. But first, let's connect this in right here. All right, and now that we have Heather Lane and Glade Lane in, I'm gonna clear out some spots here, 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 and here. And do my best to use pedestrian paths to kind of create some new art structures for, for our build. So yeah, sit back, relax, and uh, I'll see you after the time lapse.
Okay, so let's kind of just uh, take a quick peek at what, what we built here. So I was doing my best to kind of work with the pedestrian paths to kind of make artwork. <laughs> Um, let me know down in the comments what you think of what we built. Um, I really kind of enjoyed these circular, more spiral builds, as well as this um, bridge. Uh, I mean, it is a bridge, but it just, I don't know, it kind of looks like a flower in a sense, like a very square flower. Um, and then we also have a small, um, <laughs> which my brain just immediately took these three circles and immediately started thinking Avatar The Last Airbender, like the Air Nation symbol. So that's now forever <laughs> stuck in my brain. Um, and then just a very simple wave form here. So we will, um, actually, I guess this is probably a good time um, now that we have these structures here to kind of segue into that building um, beautifying the build time lapse and begin filling in a lot of this area here uh, with some with some plant life and some um, vegetation.
Alrighty, I think that just about wraps up today's episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button below and recommend this video to your friends. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And finally, let me know what your favorite part of the build was or leave your favorite flower emoji in the comments below. Until next time, I hope everyone has a phenomenal week.